Hi, I'm JJ, and welcome to our first lesson in our Getting Started with Softer series. In this lesson, we're taking a tour of Softer and covering the basics to get you started confidently. By the end of this lesson, you'll know how to create your first application, whether starting from scratch, using a template, or generating one with AI, navigating Softer Studio and finding all the tools you need, create and organize pages in your app, customize your navigation to guide users seamlessly. So let's jump in and start building your foundation with Softer. The first step to building in Softer is creating your application. Softer makes it easy by giving you three ways to get started. You can start from scratch, where you build everything yourself for full control. You can start with a template where you get to choose from 90 plus professionally designed templates to save you time. Or you can generate with AI, where you type in a simple prompt and let AI create an app tailored to your needs. For this lesson, we'll start from a template. After choosing your starting point, you'll be prompted to select a data source. You can either configure this later or choose one now. For this template, the demo data is included, which we will copy into our Airtable account. Then you'll be taken directly into the Softer Studio, where the real magic happens. Now that your app is created, let's take a quick tour of the Softer Studio. This is where you'll manage everything from pages to user settings. The key areas you'll work with include the Pages area, where you can build your app structure by creating, organizing, and managing your pages, the Theme area, where you can customize your app's global design, including fonts, colors, and layout. The users area, where you can manage app users, set permissions, and configure user notifications. The settings area, where you can handle app level settings like domains, integrations, and app wide settings. Each of these sections plays a critical role in helping you build and manage your application. We'll explore each of them in the following steps. To adjust your navigation settings, open page settings to see which navigation block is currently active. From here, you can assign a different navigation block or create a new one if needed. To further customize your navigation, simply click on the navigation block within the studio. Here you can add pages, including the new page you just created, reorder pages to define the flow of your app, hide pages using visibility rules to control which users can see them, Adjust layout options like switching between a horizontal or vertical header. For this build, let's choose a vertical header for a clean and user-friendly navigation experience. Now, what are visibility rules? You might have heard me mention this earlier, and that's because they're a key feature in Softer. These rules let you tailor the app experience for each user based on their account permissions. For example, you can ensure that only managers see admin dashboards, while regular users only see their assigned tasks. Don't worry, we'll dive deeper into visibility rules later in this series. Until then, you're well on your way to creating a seamless and personalized app experience. Let's move on to the next step, themes and styles. Let's give your app a polished and professional look. Head to the theme area and configure your global styles. Here, you can set your theme colors, set your text, accent, and background colors for consistency throughout your entire application. Or you can choose fonts for headings and body text and adjust element sizes. You can configure border roundness, spacing, and other app-wide design options. By configuring these settings, you can ensure your app reflects your brand and delivers a cohesive user experience. The users area is your go-to place for managing everything related to user accounts. With authentication, you can enable sign up and login functionality for your app. With user management, you can view and manage your app users. With user groups, you can set up groups for permissions and visibility, such as admins or clients. With data restrictions, you can apply application level data restrictions to ensure users only see data that is relevant to them. And with notifications, you can customize email notifications, such as welcome emails and password resets. We'll dive deeper into each of these topics in future lessons. Finally, let's look at the settings area where you'll configure the technical aspects of your application. With custom domains, you can replace the default software subdomain with your own company domain. With integrations, you can set up third-party tools like Zapier, Mate, Stripe, email services, and others. In general settings, you can adjust app-wide preferences like your time zone or your currency. And that's it. You've explored the software studio, added pages, updated navigation block, and configured global settings to build a solid foundation for your app. These essential skills will set you up for success as you continue building. In the next lesson, we'll introduce you to Softer's Building Blocks concepts, the foundation of building any app in Softer. You'll learn how to add and configure your first blocks, including dynamic blocks for displaying 
and editing data. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in lesson two.